Hey guys, what's up? So today we are gonna do sort of an impromptu um, bit of service with the Seafoam. Obviously not being endorsed by this company at all. This is just something I wanna run on the engine. It's a little um, shaky, uh, kind of a lot of vibration. It could be the balancer wheel, which I believe is going down there. There's a rubber grommet in between two uh, parts of the balancer wheel harmonic balancer when that rubber wears out it starts to slip so I think that might be the issue um, I sprayed it with like a little bit of a rubber the temporary thing I sprayed it with a rubber ATP rubber it kind of causes the rubber to swell and solidify like it should in that spot and uh, prolongs like seal rubber seals and such I think it's called ATP 205 this is it but we're gonna do, uh, I know it's unrelated, but there's a lot of issues with this car. It's 30 years old now. Things are starting to, shit's starting to hit the fan. But we're gonna see if we can in, in, improve um, the idle a little bit by using some sea foam and soaking it. Now, instead of taking off this thing, I did. And what I realized was that this tube is kind of long and stuff. So what we're gonna do, oops. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use one of these EVAP canister um, kind of holes because they go right on top of directly on top of the thing anyway and uh, we're gonna see what happens so uh, let's get it going and uh, we'll resume the video after we've sort of gotten it going a little bit okay after trying to get the um, tube in from the top I couldn't I couldn't manage it so I only found this spot pointed the tube that way so let's hope it works here we go I'm gonna need two hands for this, but you get the point. I'm gonna squeeze this and um, do that. <laughs> See if I can get it, get a good line of sight on that. You can hear the engine change when I press the, the tip, it's probably pulling in the, no smoke yet or anything, so. I don't want to hydro lock it either. Wondering if I'm not just pooling up liquid in here, you know? Okay. Let's hope it's working like it's supposed to. No smoke coming out of the back yet. Struggling a little, I can feel it, so I'm gonna let it work through the. No smoke or anything.
closet here because I'm not too sure that this is spraying inside. So I gotta check whether it's just pooling in the intake. I'm gonna pause it. Okay, we're gonna continue, I guess. smoke coming out the back or anything. Can is starting to feel empty. Oh. Just testing for uh Popped off, so That squeaking, by the way, I think that's one of the pulleys. Not sure which. Not too sure it's actually feeding. I think the tube might be kinked. Which would make sense why we're not getting any smoke. flooded it there. So let it work through some of that.
I mean, I think it is working because the engine really starts to shake when I've been feeding it for a while. So I think it probably indicates that it's, it's too rich a mixture. Which means it's working and it is spraying something inside the engine, right? We're gonna try another way too. We have some left. We're gonna feed it through this hose right here. Let's give that a try too. Because this one it just doesn't feel like it's feeding properly, you know? So I'm gonna try another access point, so to speak. I don't know how well this one's gonna work, but I think it will. This is the uh, fuel pressure regulator. You don't really need it at idle too much. Let's give that a go. that tube is not pink. Yeah, you can tell it's getting rich when the engine really starts to shake. Hello, smoke. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm spraying directly in there. I'm trying to get it kind of low. Oh, it's starting to shake. It's getting too rich, too rich. <laughs> so we'll let it run through. I'll stop, I stopped spraying. Rev it a little bit. I kind of expected a lot of smoke, but there's no smoke coming out. Oh, too rich, too rich. Too rich. Kind of like the pause when it's starting to look like it's uh, drowning. Do we have any more left? Very little left. Okay, we're practically out. So, place that hose. All right, 
So now let's uh, turn off the engine, let it soak for 10 minutes, and we'll come back. All right. So here's the uh, long prom promised smoke. Well, there was some in the beginning, but <laughs> it doesn't look like there's much now. When I started her up and I hit the hit the gas, there was some smoke coming out the back. But uh Burned off rather fast. There is um, a smell which is associated with the burning of the petroleum, which seafoam pretty much is. So we burnt up some dirt in there. Hopefully, that is gonna make for a smoother running engine <laughs> in the future. At idle, you see there isn't much coming out. More than usual, I'll say though, there usually isn't anything visible. So it is still burning off some stuff. Maybe if I can uh, put the camera here, I doubt I'll be able to make it stand. But let me give it a try. I'm just using a stick, because I forgot my tripod. on my phone just for this so let me just tell you there's an odor that's usually not there and there was smoke in the beginning but I imagine that it's gonna wear off after a bit let's see if we can catch it by just revving Well, yeah, there is more smoke than usual. Usually you can't see anything coming out of the tailpipe. So, and I think the car is running a little bit hotter than usual. So that's good. I think we are getting rid of some of the smoke right there. Usually there's nothing coming out. Um, but now you can actually see the, um, some, a bit of smoke. It's, it's, this car usually runs very quietly, no smoke at all. So smoke means it is burning off something. That's good. And it seems kind of usual. I can't say there's anything really different. I, I'd be lying if I said, "Oh, you know, it's, it's a lot. There's a lot of vibration." Not really. Noisy lifters, maybe. I don't know. Hard to tell. The rubber uh, around the lifters usually gets brittle, falls apart, and so you have noisy lifters. Nothing you can do about that, right? Just give it a little bit of acceleration. A little more smoke starts to come out natural a lot of heat coming from the engine obviously it's a cool day so all right well if you did if you like this video please uh, comment and subscribe it goes a long way now that uh, summer's here I'll be doing more videos Fortunately, I'm working on a project that I'm doing 60 hours a week, so I don't have a lot of time. But in the weekends, I can slap something together. So please help me out by uh, liking and subscribing. Thanks a lot, guys. See you, see you in the next video.